So I guess I, I'm, I'm mandated to ask you this question, David Allen Greer, as a, as a oh, farewell. No, no, I'm, I, I feel the need to do this, even though it is kind of oh. asking you to work in a way, David, is oh, to boy. please review <laughs> Dad Stop Embarrassing Me, available today on Netflix, as men on oh, film. As men, <laughs> you know, listen, as men on film. Years ago, we're so woke. You, can... you have to find a real black gay critic to... <laughs> to express uh, his or her or their or its thoughts on this particular it's project. not it's not it's it's not it's not like riding a bicycle where you can't just snap right into men on film david is that just i could but society wouldn't no times have wouldn't. changed is what you're saying in living times have changed <laughs> you know you just don't want to be in that round table and utter the fo- following words but what's the big deal <laughs> I thought it was funny. That's you, I, you guys, okay, sorry. That's right. Yeah, you just don't. Uh-uh. So I can't do it, but I can do it. This is going to be hilarious. Okay. This is my new character, Gerald. And, and no one has seen or heard this guy. David Allen Greer. He's like a, a little, slightly older black actor, okay. and he's talking about one of his projects. So okay. he's going he's gonna to review Dad Stop Embarrassing. Okay, sounds good. And action. Um, I liked it. I thought it was really a great show. And in particular, I liked David Allen Greer. <laughs> right? Okay. It's, it's subtle. Very it's good. subtle, though. <laughs> you know what? It's, you it's, know what I mean? Can, it, wait, can you, if you saw me, I'm doing eyebrow work. Very good. No, I, I, I actually, I, I heard the eyebrow work through the phone. That's how damn good that was. <laughs> and, you know, I'll be, some might say it's self-congratulatory. I think it's inspiring. Um, Thank you, TJ. You got you have a question for David Allen Greer, TJ Jefferson. Hey, hey Dag, TJ? what up? It's TJ. I, I was just wondering what what would, what would Calhoun Tubbs have to say <laughs> about it? You guys, you guys, you know what? This is almost like NPR. You know what NPR does whenever there's a tragedy. You know, it's like uh, what happened, sir? <laughs> My house was burned down, and uh, I know who did it. They have not been apprehended. Then the reporter says. Do you have something you'd like to say to the arsonist? Uh, not really. But I mean, if you could talk to him right now, what would you say? Uh, why'd you do it, man? You know, you burned my house down. So you're asking me, what would Calhoun Tug? The, the blind blues singer. Listen, I'm just going to do it so we can move on. Because <laughs> I see where this is going. Um, what would Mr. McAfee say about the show, David? Just could you? What would he say? Cal- Calhoun Tug would say, "I thought it was too long." Thank you, Mike. Okay, now. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta give the people what they want, David. Sometimes you just gotta give the people what they want. Wow. <laughs> you, you got to. You got to. Wow. Where the song um, about it? I don't. You know, I, like I said, I, I know who I am. I'm a humble guy. But I remember I read this article about uh, Outcast, and they had come back together, and they were doing, like, Coachella. But one of the guys really did not want to play the hits. Like every other. Like, I just want to play our experimental new stuff, read some poetry. And I think Prince talked to him. He said, look, man, you got to play the hits, brother. You got to play. Bombs over Baghdad. Give them the hits. Then you can go off and do some experimental stuff, but you got to play the hits. Yes. So this is what I learned today, talking to you guys. This you must <laughs> play the hits, and you can also promote "Dad, Stop Embarrassing Me." Available today on Netflix with Jamie Foxx and Portia Coleman, Kyla Drew, yeah. Jonathan Kite, and this man, David Allen Greer. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.